Welcome to Alexis Drinks, where we talk to your favorite brewers about their favorite beer. We're here in beautiful Westville, New Jersey, to talk to Pam and Mike from Westville Brewing. Let's go see what they're drinking. And welcome back to another fantastic episode of Alexis Drinks. I'm saying it's fantastic because we've actually done this once before mm -hmm. with the fabulous Gordies here at Westville Brewing. And it was amazing, it was just a little long. So <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Pam have been so gracious as to have me back mm -hmm. so that we can try again. And I'm really excited for what we're gonna be drinking today. Mike, I'm going to let you take it away with our beer that inspired you. Okay, uh, back when I was first starting brewing, um, I got into Yards Brawler. It's kind of like a porter, it's kind of like a pugilist style ale. I have no idea what that means, but... We're going to look up, you guys, we'll everyone look up pugilist. It. Look it up. It's your homework for so the day. So we'll pour this in. <laughs> it's um, almost a cross between a porter and an amber, it looks like. But I like the dark toasty notes and the chocolate in it and I can get very used to it. Mm -hmm. I like that color. I've been very excited about clear beers lately. Yeah, they so seem to be coming back. I'm mm -hmm. excited about that. I mean, I like I like the hazy stuff. Right. You know, but cheers everyone. Let's cheers. cheers. Have a cheers. cheers. Give this a try. I got more top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got more bottom than top. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. Huge fan of Yards. I'm a huge fan of Yards. Mm -hmm. I often drink that like President's series that they have. Yeah, Jefferson and the yeah, Tavern Porter. Yeah, something with mm -hmm. like spruce tips and all that noise. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, they're I, all really good. Yes, I love this. It's like warm, but not too warm. You know, it's like one of those things that where like you kind of feel like you're drinking a heavier beer, but at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you're not. Yeah, it's almost right. light. Right. Now. I like it. If I remember correctly, there is a connection between you and Yards yeah. uh, that we'd like to talk about and maybe throw, um, some, throw some things down. The owner of Yards, Mr. Kehoe, uh, mm -hmm. his brother is a 322 steam fitters business agent. Mm -hmm. I'm a 420 union steam fitter. Mm -hmm. And if he's interested in doing something with us, then I'd love to have him. Uh, I think that you know, would be figure fun. Figure some stuff out. <laughs> because and, it's uh, not an Alexis Strings if I'm not telling people how to live their lives. Right. <laughs> and I want that to happen. I want like a Yards Westville mm -hmm. steam fitter. Yeah, that would be real collab. Cool. Real cool. Mm -hmm. You know, something mm -hmm. something really fun. Mm. God, this is so good. I like mm -hmm. it. So tell me tell me more about why this beer. Uh, it was one of the first craft beers I had gotten into. Yeah. And I like darker beers, and mm. Porter is what got me into brewing. Right. So, so this beer, this love is it. a beer that inspired me. I love it. So, and Pam, what kind of beer inspires you? I actually brought I. Well, I'll start with I hated IPAs. Oh. I hated IPAs, and we were out one night, and I said, you know what, I'm going to order an IPA, and ever since then I haven't looked back. So our timepiece is actually my favorite IPA, which well, is the time a little piece crazy. Is yes, a very good yes. IPA. I'm a huge fan of Westville's right. timepiece, but, but that seems like a good introduction. Yes, but I actually went on the another side and I did the Tonewood Freshy because I like the pale, like you were saying earlier, those pails that are uh, the cleaner ones, and you know, the, it's just a refreshing beer to have on a hot day. Right. Well, yeah. so to bring us out the Freshies IPA Pam's Inspiration Beer, <laughs> we have a special guest, Ryan from Brew You, uh, coming on over. <laughs> if you haven't you met Brew You yet, ah! <laughs> This is really exciting. So I'm gonna let Pam do the pouring sure. for the freshies because it's her beer. Okay. And thank you, Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> if you haven't met Brew You yet, it is a, an app where you can buy a friend a beer, which I freaking love because nice. <laughs> all of my friends can buy me beers if you want to. I want to be everyone's friend. <laughs> Correct. <I'm on> <laughs> exactly. Right. I want to be on the receiving end of that kind of friendship. <laughs> so here we have Tonewood Freshies. Tonewood is an awesome local brewery yes, over so. in Oakland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also about to be in ba um, Barrington. Barrington, yes. Which, mm -hmm. uh, when we first shot this episode, 
I was living in Barrington, mm -hmm. walking distance from what Tonewood is going to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in Haddon Heights, still walking distance though. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited <laughs> about it. So cheers yeah, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Glorious. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Again, I think this is one of those really great approachable IPAs for someone who's not been into the IPA world but mm -hmm. kind of wants to get into that. Right. I think that you've tasted the hops. This is mm -hmm. the pale. Oh, it's not. Oh, gosh. It's a pale. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pale. This is why it's a good thing we um, <laughs> have the experts on. <laughs> but I like how it does have the hop. The right. hop and the fruit flavor gives it that little bit of IPA-ish, but then it's it's only like 5%. So it's it's a lower clear everyday drink yeah. beer, yeah, it's a which I thing. like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fruity. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, what hops are we using in this one? I ask like I know what they mean. But these guys know what they mean, and so they're going to tell you. Uh, does it even say? What do you taste in it? Well, yeah, I taste. <laughs> I do uh, taste fruitiness. Oh wait, I'm very excited. Yeah, well, we have um, Simcoe, Amarillo, yeah. and Cascade. So Simcoe and Amarillo are in our timepiece. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So if, if you like freshies, you'll probably like our timepiece as well. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have to try to try some timepiece before we get uh, we too far into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm really excited actually. We're gonna like skip right ahead to the Westville section because <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with Westville's beer and these are amazing, but I know that you have so much to talk about, mm -hmm. so much local, so many good things. We're gonna get right ahead to Westville, but in the meantime, we're gonna talk to you a little bit about Westville, where we are, what we're doing here right now. Stay tuned. All right, we are back for my favorite portion of any Alexis drinks, but especially this one, to drink your beer. Yeah. So guys, what are we drinking? <laughs> Let's start with this really gorgeous pink one. Okay, so the sexy one is our blackberry sexy. lemonade sour. Ooh. And it, uh, I always tell everybody we have that pucker up sour, mm -hmm. so. Mm. And it is, ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. See, sours are like after weeded beers, fruity wheat beers, sours mm -hmm. were my next craft beer mm -hmm. and I love a good sour and mm -hmm. this is great because it has like a really nice complex taste mm -hmm. like you taste the blackberry and right blackberry, blackberry yeah. <laughs> and, and then yeah. you get to the lemonade, and, the lemonade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end, and I yeah. love that and now are these local blackberries by these chance? are blackberries from down south mm. yeah <laughs> how far down sure <laughs> <laughs> because Westville does a great job of fresh fruit. Yes, we do try to. Mm -hmm. And how do we get the fresh fruit in the beer? Uh, a lot of times um, mm -hmm. we buy it frozen and then Pam spends hours at home pureeing it Yes. Uh, in a little mini food processor. Uh -huh. And then puts it into a five gallon bucket and then brings it down here. Should and we start a GoFundMe for a larger food process? <laughs> we that would be awesome. A, a larger food yeah. Link in the bio. Yeah. So the bio fam, a bigger food processor. It would be much appreciated. Right. So. There's about 30 pounds of blueberries in the, well, there's about 60 pounds of blueberries in the four barrels. There's 30 pounds per barrel of blueberries in the, or 30 pounds per two barrel. Sorry. Per two barrel, yeah. Right. That's, and, and you guys love, you have this like amazing blueberry, mm -hmm. not just the blueberry crumb cake, which we're tasting a cousin of yes. in a minute. Mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. other blueberry, you know, blueberry is like a big deal for you guys. Blueberry lemonade sour yeah. we had called Kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. um, yes. We've also, uh, have we done any other? No, I don't think we've done too many blueberries, no. mostly the blueberry crumb cake. But right. the blackberry Maybe lemonade I'm just sour like obsessed is. With it. I think yeah. we've never talked about this, but I'm kind of partial to blueberries only because when I was younger, I worked at Moods Farm Market and picked blueberries. And that's like all of our cousins did that. Okay. And we were very young and that was how we made our money. And then so I'd buy my Jordache jeans after and my Nike sneakers with <laughs> the money that I would make. Yes. It was probably like less than $100 for the whole summer. But, but that made you <laughs> love blueberries, not hate them. It, well, in the beginning, I hated them, but then right. you, you start loving them because yeah. they're just so good, especially <laughs> in beer. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Jersey blueberries, come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're always getting, you know, Jersey yes. mm -hmm. fresh blueberries. And yes. this is, you know, this is, though, phenomenal. Yes. You guys do a whole sour series. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the most recent iteration of yes. them. But mm -hmm. what, what other sour flavors can we expect from we you? We do, this is part of our Sofa King Sour. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So this is Sofa King Sour. sour. Yes. Cool. Blackberry <laughs> lemonade. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We've had Sofa King Sour 
mixed mm -hmm. berry, mixed mm -hmm. berry, pink Raz lemonade, which with raspberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is like so puckery. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> After like a second, the no, like it second does. It you're pretty good. Itself. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Carry on, I was just like, ooh! <laughs> it hit me again, I love it. Guys, um, come to Black, uh, come to Blackberry. <laughs> come, come to Westville, get some Blackberry Sour. We also had Tropical, that was very good. Yes. The Tropical one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, so, yeah. lots of sours Different ones. Lots I love sour. that, mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think sours are one of those things, like you should always have them in the summertime. Yes. So they're great for the summer, mm -hmm. they're nice, they're refreshing. Coming right. up will be, um, we have uh, Sofa King laid back. Mm -hmm. yes. Which is mango, key lime, coconut sour. Mm -hmm. We just did uh, a single batch of that mm -hmm. probably a month or so ago. It went and it quickly. Went so fast. That yeah. Like, I got to brew that again. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll be back for that. Okay. Mm. Nice. So if I just like put like a, a barrel, a, a, that's too much, too much to put a barrel aside. <laughs> no, for, for you, anything. Uh, sure. <laughs> And we also like in the summertime we have the slushy machine, so we like to put the sours in there, and then we make the slushy slushies. Sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very excited about mm -hmm. that. I want that. Yep. Um, okay, so I have finished mine. <laughs> Again, the fastest drinker on the planet, but yeah. it's okay. We're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna move on to this gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, you called the, the the blackberry sexy, but I think this is sexy too. It is sexy. Tell me about it. <laughs> Your turn. This is our cherry crumb cake. Um, this is the probably the fifth or sixth in our crumb cake series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we've tried this one and it was met pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Over yes. the last weekend. So um, there is a lot of different flavors going in this. Mm -hmm. We select the grain in order to give that toasty kind of flavor of a crumb cake. Mm -hmm. um, there's cinnamon flavor in there. Mm -hmm. There's cherry, mm -hmm. lots of cherry puree. Mm -hmm. Some other Ooh, you do. You know, I, vanilla. There's a lot of. It is. It's very. Going. It is very desserty, mm -hmm. but it's not too heavy. It doesn't make me feel like oh, right. I'm like eating dessert. I'm just, but oh, I get that all those great flavors. Mm -hmm. This is a great, I think, beer for people who are again new to beer, right? Because it has those great. It has those approachable flavors. Mm -hmm. All of your crime cake series have those approachable flavors that people recognize mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. other things, but then it also has those undertones right. that you want to see in beer. Mm -hmm. You have the wheat, you know, like the, the mm -hmm. like the mm -hmm. malts, you know, wheat, oats, going on. Yeah, right. A lot of uh, mm -hmm. flavor from that yeah. good mouthfeel kind of stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, I yeah. Love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm. <laughs> It's not bitter. It's a no, uh, it's a pale all. ale, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we put a lot of uh, this gets a lot of our heart and soul into these crumb cakes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so you've this is you, which one? Which number? I would say there was blueberry, mm -hmm. of course, uh, raspberry. Uh, raspberry. Uh -huh. Then we did peach. Peach. Peach is what we went summer swelter fest with. And there was oh, yeah. yeah pineapple mm -hmm. upside down crumb cake. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then this is number five. And this is cherry so number five. Yeah, yeah. cherry crumb cake. Mm -hmm. So five of them. Uh, I'm very excited about it. So guys, come to Westville, just ask what crumb cake they have on and drink it because I assure you, you're gonna love it. Um, Cause I do. <laughs> That's good. And everyone should love what I love. <laughs> so we also have, mm, 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 mm. oh, um, a specialty because you don't have this on tap. This is coming right out of, you guys watch this happen, yeah, out we, of the barrel, yes, out um, of the tank. We, uh, As it were. we run low on timepiece, our signature IPA, mm -hmm. um, pretty quickly. So whenever it works its way back into the schedule, we try to keep it. We've been learning that it's like every three weeks you have to like brew this no matter what. Right, mm -hmm. right. But we've been so, trying to send it out to liquor stores as well. Oh, okay, so mm -hmm. like what liquor stores can you usually get this at? Um, if you can't come to Westville though, come on, get to Westville. So we do a small supply of it. It usually goes to Clayton Liquors, mm -hmm. to Buy Right in West Effort, and to G's in West Effort as well on Case right. Highway. Nice, excellent. And we also have beer right now, I forgot, at the Westwood Country Club. We do. But I don't yeah, know the if- golf course. Yeah, at the mm -hmm. golf course. I'm not sure if they're opened yet, because they were getting ready to open the inside with the right. bar and, and food and stuff, so. So they've got your beer. Yeah. And now this is an IPA, not a pale ale. Yes. Right. Just yes. This is, uh, <laughs> Just to clarify for the folks watching at home. New England. New England, New England yeah, style. okay. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? Um, well, it's hazy, cloudy, juicy. It mm -hmm. has Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, Amarillo in it. They're the hops. Some and hops we met a minute ago. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and a lot of, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. But like in a good way. In a good yeah. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the fruity, juicy way, not in the bitter. Correct. Mm -hmm. Can't I, feel my tongue way. Right. Yeah. And I mean, you know, there's a time and a place for that. There's like, you know, mm -hmm. that time where you want to like just not know what's going on in your face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's other things for that. <laughs> That's for Alexis. You no. can't watch this show. Post <laughs> Alexis drinks. In between Alexis drinks and Alexis Ubers. That's. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about that. But no, <laughs> this is glorious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are um, a two barrel system? A two barrel system. Yes, we yeah. are in desperate need of expansion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're working every avenue we can. Yeah. Sorry, Mike, I'm not starting a GoFundMe for another tank because we're <laughs> doing a GoFundMe for a larger pureer. I think. Uh, yeah, you know, a pureer, that one should get done pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> just, it's going to be great. <laughs> Very excited about this. I just want more crumb cake. I'm sorry, but I also want more time pieces. <gasps> to get, no, I'm just kidding. Go fund our pureer. <laughs> yes, <Right>. yes. <laughs> right. So what other fun exciting plans do we have for Westville coming up? Um, we are in the process of changing our logo. Oh. So we're re, not rebranding, but kind of going back to the clock yes. and all the funness of that. Um, so we're working on that. And so the labels will change, everything will change, all new merchandise. Um, we also have, uh, we're going to be having the last Thursday of the month, the rolling badges will be coming out. Um, right, that's the police officer. The police um, officer motorcycles. motorcycle club. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. they're going to do that up until September. Right. Um, and then we'll be at lot 323 in July, nice. um, which is in Woodbury. And 104.5. Yes. 104.5 will be here the on the 22nd of July. 2nd of oh, July. Yeah. That's my birthday. So you're throwing me a party. There you I go. go. Yes. yes. So that's also a Thursday. So we'll have all 104.5 uh -huh. here and we'll have the rolling the badges. The rolling badges here. will be here, yeah. Oh, so yeah. It'll be a nice big party. Yeah. Excellent. So great things happening yep. here in Westville. Well, we have to tell them what. Well, maybe we shouldn't tell them what beer is coming for the Alt 104.5. We probably shouldn't. We should keep that as a secret. Yeah, we have to come here to find out. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Pam and Mike, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank really you. appreciate it. 2.0. Uh huh. Yes. Fewer Alexis gets pulled over stories. More. <laughs> not that. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.